What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update uh, on Marlin stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will prove you that a $10 billion contract uh, for Marlin uh, is just a fake. And uh, basically you can do your own uh, due diligence and you will find it out. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this point uh, when this asset was at roughly 9.3 uh, cents uh, point. And uh, I've told you that uh, we have to break uh, this previous uh, bottom. It is the, its all time low. And as you can see, we pretty much uh, had a bounce uh, on the uh, pre previous session to the upside, but then we broke it. And right now this asset uh, is at its lowest point. It is uh, consistently forming uh, its all time lows. And uh, on uh, one of my videos right here, right after the major announcement uh, that they made uh, just uh, seven uh, days ago about this magic black box, uh, I've told you that uh, this asset in less than two weeks uh, breaks its uh, all-time low. And it happened in a matter of just uh, three sessions. So, as usual, I was right, but I have a lot of hate from uh, potential investors in this asset because uh, they uh, want to believe that this company is still a legit company and uh, it will skyrocket. We just have to wait. And guys, no, uh, you will not uh, return your money. You will not uh, have any profit with this asset if you are not an experienced trader. From the trader's standpoint, I made uh, several calls uh, recently on uh, Marlin and um, the majority of them was uh, quite successful. We made from 10% uh, all the way up to 75% uh, and uh, definitely this asset is uh, still uh, on the side of trading, not on the side of investing. And uh, I will show you what should we expect next uh, from the technical standpoint in just several minutes. And for now, let's continue with the fundamental news. First of all, let me show you that this asset is still extremely popular among the retail community. We have uh, this ticker symbol on the third place on the most active section. And uh, I have to say that uh, this uh, company is emotional driven company. The price of uh, these stocks is emotional driven because the majority of investors in Marlin is the people from retail community. And that is why you have to be very cautious because uh, this company has extremely high volatility. So let me show you their recent news and uh, a lot of people uh, think that uh, we might see a spike in its price because of uh, their new contract. And uh, this contract uh, I covered uh, in my previous video. This contract with, with one of uh, the uh, District Columbia department. And as you can see, uh, Marlin Automotive uh, published this tweet uh, just several hours ago and they wrote Back uh, in the nation's capital today at DC's Public uh, Works' uh, fleet facility 40 high usage Chevy bolts belonging to the city of uh, DC are going through our energy management module installation process DINA testing, then EMM install, then road testing, then DINA test, uh, then back into service fleet So. Now, this means a $680,000 contract. If we divide it by 40 vehicles, it will be about $17,000 for each installation. And why in the world someone should pay an extra $17,000, almost the cost of entire vehicle, in order to just have some kind of reduction in their energy con consumption? And I have a lot of doubts that this magic box even uh, capable of uh, these uh, results that was shown in their press release because uh, uh, you cannot break the laws of physics. And uh, this is uh, the <laughs> magic box. I cannot uh, just uh, think that uh, it is uh, something uh, technical. It is just a magic box. And that is why I don't think that uh, we might even uh, see the implementation of uh, this box uh, in a real world vehicles. And I have to say that I don't know why in the world they are uh, installing these uh, boxes uh, on these uh, vehicles. Uh, it doesn't make sense from any standpoint, from the economical standpoint and from any others. On top of that, let me show you that uh, we don't have uh, the uh, 8K form that should be filed with SSC 
because of uh, this statement, because of uh, this announcement, because every partnership, every contract should be disclosed in 8K form. It is a law. And that is why I think uh, it is uh, not the real contract and it is not the real black box. So, on top of that, uh, on my previous video I've told you about the number of uh, vehicles in Saudi Arabia and I didn't find uh, these numbers and I used just uh, for an example number of vehicles, number of electric vehicles in Dubai. But let me give you a more natural example. Right now, in the United, in the United States, according to the official data, as you can see, at the end of 2021, it was uh, just over 2 million electric vehicles. And right here, as you can see, uh, we potentially might have uh, up to 2.5 million vehicles on the roads uh, of the United States. And if we divide the uh, value of the contract, $10 billion contract, uh, with the assumption that uh, this contract uh, was uh, signed uh, for the entire EV fleet of uh, the entire United States of America. This means each and every vehicle should have an additional cost of this box uh, for about $4,000 and it is without labor cost. And why in the world someone should pay $4,000, more than $4,000 of additional costs if uh, the results are not guaranteed? And right now we don't have any meaningful results rather than uh, the uh, dinner test of the vehicles uh, with the wheels uh, spinning in the air. And uh, that is why you have to be very cautious uh, with your long-term investment. And I have to say that the only news that might drive the price of uh, Marlin stock higher is the beginning of uh, their production. And I have to say that if you take a look uh, on the Import Genius website, it is the website that tracks uh, all the buys and sales of uh, the companies uh, internationally. As you can see, Marlin Automotive has only three shipments. And uh, as you can see, the latest one was made uh, on October 24th. And uh, they don't uh, have any new shipments from China. And we all know that all of their fleets, all of their vehicles was made uh, in China. And uh, it was imported to the United States territory by ELMS, the company that was acquired by Malin uh, last uh, summer. And all of the vehicles that are on their parking lots are the leftovers from ELMS. And that is why I still stand on my position that this asset is a fraudulent company and you cannot rely on it as a long-term holdings in your portfolio. On top of that, let me show you that right now we have uh, some uh, potential problems with Lawrence, uh, the person who is a counterpart of uh, Marlin Automotive in their new partnership. And he is uh, in the hospital right now, but he wrote this. I'm uh, gonna come back heavy. I was admitted into the hospital yesterday after the press release from exhaustion. I will be released tomorrow and uh, back on the job Monday. My team has everything under control. Thanks everyone. So, uh, definitely this uh, news is not uh, good news by itself, but in general I have to say that uh, probably we should see some announcements, some major announcements uh, uh, in upcoming weeks and without these announcements we will continue to see the movement to the downside. That's why you have to be very cautious. So, let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, as I already mentioned, we broke uh, this uh, previous all-time low and right now there are no people, there are no people in the world who has uh, the Marlin stocks and who e and whose position is in green right now. This small blip, uh, I think uh, it will be broken today. And this means there are no people in the world who are holding these uh, stocks and whose position is in green. That is why from the fundamental standpoint, uh, I've told you that uh, this asset uh, is not a real company. They pretend to be a real auto manufacturer. And why in the world uh, they uh, just uh, skip all of their previous uh, promises and uh, they intend to produce and sell uh, these uh, magical black boxes? I don't know why, because uh, in general this is an uh, automotive manufacturer and uh, they should produce vehicles. Otherwise, it is just a uh, fraudulent company and it doesn't worth your attention. 
So, I think uh, that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap Only